Shalom, Shalom. Who are we? We are the Hebrew Israelites. And we're coming week out, week in to wake up the children of Israel and bring them back to the Heavenly Father. And this goes out to all the Israelites across the world, man. That's right. out there laboring for the Heavenly Father and glorifying Him morning, noon, and night. That's right. And being obedient unto His words. Four corners of the earth. But before we glorify, we're going to glorify the Heavenly Father and we are going to say, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya will shine. Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya will shine. And Manuela, Shalawam, come here, Sharala. Come here, Sharala. And that's what we have to keep doing. Glorify our Heavenly Father morning, noon, and night, man. That's right. He wake us up, He give us food to eat, give us job, everything where we have. We have to glorify him for it. it. Yes, you can tell a man thank you, but it's of the Lord, man. That's right. The Lord send them to give you what you want. So we have to glorify him without ceasing, man. That's right. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 22. Psalms. This is book of Psalms, chapter 22 and verse 22. Yeah. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will in, I praise thee. In where? In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. And that's what we're doing. In the midst of the congregation all across the world. We have to praise the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. For everything. Glorify Him. No matter how big or how small it is. Glorify your Heavenly Father. Read on, brother. Ye that fear the Lord, praise Him, all ye. The seed of Jacob. The seed of who? The seed of Jacob. He's not talking to everybody to praise him and glorify him. He's talking to the seed of Jacob. Read on. Glorify him and fear him, all ye seed of Israel. You see? You seed of Jacob, you seed of Israel. That's who the Lord's speaking to. That's right. Read on. For he had not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted neither had he in his face from him so who's the afflicted who's the afflicted we know who that is man we've been afflicted for four five hundred years man so he's talking to the seed of jacob That's right. the seed of israel read on but when he cried unto him he heard my praise shall be of thee the great congregation in the con in the great congregation I will pay my vows before them that fear him. Right. And before them that fear him. The children of Israel, the Israelites are the people that fear the Lord, man. Because the people is walking on doing their own thing morning, noon, and night. It's only the people that fear him that's keeping his commandments. And we are those people, man. Read on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 22 and verse 26. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. For what? Your heart shall live forever. And that's the children of Israel, man, the Israelites. Because our kingdom is forever. So we are going to live forever, man, to rule the other nations. That's why we have to glorify the Heavenly Father. Because his judgments is right and true, man. The people that have been afflicting us, we are the people. We are the people that's been afflicted by the other nations. And he said, we're going to live forever and ever. And that's true judgment, true justice. That's right. Read on. Verse 27. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. And when we get back our kingdom, everybody have to worship the one father, man. Right. They will be worshipping no other religions and all of that. It's going to be one father and we're going to be worshipping. No more Muslim, no more Christian, no more Catholic. It's going to be one father you're going to be worshipping right. when the true judgment come on the earth, man. That's right. Which is the children of Israel ruling back the rightful rulership, man. Read on. Verse 28. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. Our father is the governor amongst the nations, man. 
And that's why they're getting misconstrued. The rest of people think them can govern themselves. The Lord and the governor, man. That's right. Read on. Verse 29. All they that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship all they that go down to the dust. Right. And all the rich yeah. people were feeling so them too proud. You're going to have to worship our father, man. That's right. Your money is not going to be your power. The father are going to be the power of the whole earth, man. And every king dream is going to do that when the Israelites are back in their rightful rulership, man. The sh they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. You hear that? None can keep alive his own soul. That's right. Because when the rich man think that he can keep alive his own soul, they would do all type of surgery, teeth people, organs. They think it's them keeping themselves alive. No! The Lord is keeping them alive. They don't believe in the Heavenly Father. But one day, you are going to worship the true and living power. That's right. The power of the Israelites, man. Read the prison. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 21 Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaker of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. See, and we can't do that because we're commanded to listen to the Father and be obedient. Right. We got one true power that we serve, and that's Yahweh by Shima Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. That's who we, we have to serve. That's right. We're not serving two power. If you're disobedient, you will. That's but right. we as Israelites know we have to serve one true living power. That's right. And that's Yahweh. Read your read your precept. Psalm 88 and 8. Thou has put away my acquaintances far from me. Thou has made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up and I cannot come forth. Mine eyes wounded by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands upon thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? And that's what we have to do while we're living, man. We have to glorify the Heavenly Father morning, noon and night. We are the children of the power man. So we have to glorify him. We can't be glorifying man. We have to glorify the one living true power, That's which right. is the power of the Israelites. Read 1 Corinthians 10 and 31. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 31 whether therefore ye eat or drink or with, with whatsoever ye do do all to the glory of Yahweh you see whether we eat whether we drink whatever we do we have to do it all to the glory of Yahweh man that's right so it's not a light thing. You have to give praise for every single little thing. Right. Every time you eat, you have to say thank you. That's right. Every time you drink, you say thank you to the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. He must have to make you drink. Because when famine time comes, you're not going to be drinking, man. That's because you weren't glorifying the Heavenly Father. But He will make you drink. So we have to glorify Him morning, noon, and night. That's right. Read Isaiah. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 15. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord Yahweh of Israel in the eyes of the sea. That's right. right. So we have to glorify him. All when trials and tribulation come upon us, we still have to glorify him. Right. So when trials come up, he's testing, testing us, man. That's right. Testing us to see if we're going to curse him or go back into the world. No. We have to glorify him no matter what come upon us. All when we in the fire, we have to glorify him because he knows what he's doing. That's why you have to put your trust and faith in the heavenly father, man. Right. And as my brother said, don't wait till he in the fire to glorify him. We have to do it now, man. 
That's right. No matter what come upon us, we have to glorify with Heavenly Father That's in right. truth and sincerity, man. We have to be out here in truth and sincerity, lifting up our Father, man. The Father that wake us up this morning. The Father that put food on our table. The Father that give we drink, put roof over our head, give we job. All those things is of the Father, man. We have to come back and know, say, our power that we serve is the one and true living power. And that's the power of the Israelites, man. The Israelites that you see being afflicted. The Israelites that you see that nobody not like. And it's only a remnant. Because not every Israelite is praising the Heavenly Father. Some of them is lost in the world. That's why we have to come out and wake them up. Or the dead state of mind that they're in. Read that. Romans chapter 11 verse 36 for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever see we have for glory forever because everything is by him and for him man so we have to glorify him forever not just for today every time we wake up we go home we go out, we come back in safe. You have to glorify him, man. That's right. Because you know, must reach you up. Right. You can walk down the street and drop down right now. That's happened to people I know. Right. They, right. they cross the road and they don't make it cross the road. Right. So you have to glorify the Heavenly Father in everything that we do, man. Right. Lift him up. Magnify him. Teacher. That's right. This is book of Mark, chapter 12 and verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy Yahweh with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. That's what we have to do, man. That's the first commandment of the Heavenly Father that we have to love him with all his strength, man. Everything we do, we have to put forth with strength for the Lord, man. We can't stay in our house and fall up and say we're not coming out to glorify the Heavenly Father. And even glorify him more when you're inside your house on your own, man. Right. You have to lift him up, magnify the Heavenly That's Father. Right. That's right. The second one. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Bring it Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You see? Magnify the Heavenly Father and glorify Him which is in heaven, man. And we have to let our light shine so that the people them can see our good works. The good works is the keeping the commandments. Other people's out here doing their shopping, doing their own will. We're being obedient unto the Lord. Christ said, don't shop on the Sabbath. He said, don't work on the Sabbath. So when we see people in the shop at work, they're working the Sabbath. When we see people going to gym, they're working the Sabbath, man. It's not supposed to be a delight unto themselves. It's supposed to glorify the Heavenly Father and being obedient is a delight to Him, man. That's right. What you got there? Revelation chapter 4 and 11 Thou art worthy, O Lord to receive glory and honour and power for Thou hast created all things and you, you, you hear about the Israelites sis? So where's your father from? Right, so that would make would, yeah, to be an Israelite, you have to fit the curses of the Bible of Deuteronomy 28. So, we've got laws, statutes, and commandments to keep. Now, do you know a bit about the Bible? Yeah, right. So, you know about Moses, and you know when Moses went to collect the commandments, you know the audience that he was speaking to the Israelites. So 
when he got the commandments, he was only speaking to the Israelites because they came out of Egypt and the bondage and the Pharaoh, which is a next set of black dark skinned people. So all black people can't be the same because we was under bondage under another set of so-called black people. Remember when they said African soul Africans? African soul Israelites. So that's why we're not African. That's why you see our people in Africa, Africa. No. We're not supposed to be doing that. We're, we're, we're different people, right? So every, I used to do it. But we are separate people. Get me that. Read your precept. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So the Egyptians back then was dark skinned people and the Lord said he put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So we're not the same people. That's right. Uh, Sister, you said you don't know that... Um, being knowing that you're an Israelite now, there's something required of you, so we're going to read the precept to let you know what is required um, according to the scriptures. So this is book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So he says to serve the Lord thy God. So serving him is keeping his commandments. And and the commandments that we've got to keep is the 613 laws, statutes and commandments that the Lord gave only to the children of Israel. He never give it to the whole world. We are a separate people unto the Lord thy God. We are the power. We are the children of the power man. We are the Israelites that came out of Egypt with Moses. We're not an ordinary set of people, sis. We are those people written all in the book. Get me Deuteronomy 28, because he said we have to keep his commandments and we have to walk in all his ways. Get me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy. 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 Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass... If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the, of the earth. Right, so he said if we keep his commandments we're supposed to be high above all the other nations because believe it or not do you think God love everybody? No, well, he only remember if he loved everybody, there was more people in Egypt, but he never got for them too. You see, he can't love everybody if he only went for the Israelites. Remember, there was other nations in there, but there was only Israelites under bondage, and it was only Israelites that he took out of Egypt. Now, read on. We were 19. No, 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 15. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because just now he said, if we hearken. He will set us high above all nations. Read them. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Read out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. All these what? All, all these curses, curses shall, shall come, come upon thee, thee and overtake thee. Curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field so he said curse shall thou be in the city is our people living good anywhere around the world no and those people are because they're israelites curse in the field he was the only people that went on slave ships because remember i told you africans all israelites so the africans never go on the slave ships and it's not so we're here we're here in the other nations i just said the lord said it that the children of Israel are his chosen. Before, before I go through some more curses, I'm going to show you that he's chosen us. Get me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because he never chose everybody to be above everything. He chose the children of Israel. 
Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto, unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he chose us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's why we are the best singers, the best dancers, best cook. Our women look the best. It's not racism, it's just the truth. We're reading scripture. Read the precept. Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 23. And said, O Lord, that bearest rule over every wood of the earth and all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine, and of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers thereof, one lily. So the Lord loves the lily, and the, he said he chose one pit, which is the land of Israel, Jerusalem, because that's where we really come from. Read on. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. That's the river Jordan, that's he love. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Sion unto thyself. And of all the fowls thou hast created, thou hast named thee one dove. So of all the birds that he created, eagle, ostrich, all of that, he loved the dove. And of all the cattle thou hast made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. All the cattle, cow, ox, um, goat, he loved the sheep over all the cattle that he has chosen. And among all the multitudes of the people, thou hast gotten thee one people unto this people whom thou lovest, who thou who gavest a law that is approved of all. See, the, that one people that he chose is the Israelite because he made 18 nations of people, but he chose one nation, and that's the Israelite. So when you go into the church and the Matele say, God love everybody, they're telling lies. He only loved the children of Israel. And I'm going to right. show you this. Get me Joel 2 and 27, Amos 3 and 1. And you got Malachi. Read this. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. By, to who? To Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein as thou loved us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? So do you know who Esau is? Who's Esau is? He's the progenitor of the so-called white race. So he's talking, he, when he says Esau, he's meaning the whole nation. So all the so-called white people he's talking to. So read that back again. I, uh, ma uh, okay. Malachi 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have I have loved you, say the Lord. Yet you say, wherein as thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, say the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. He loved Jacob and hated Esau. Now, Jacob is us. So I'm saying, yet the so-called white man in Israel this is what we're reading, but because he called him Esau, there's Ishmael, Esau, Ishmael is the so-called Arab man, Esau is the so-called white man, Moab is the so-called Chinese man, Amun is the Japanese man, so they're all in it, but because they're running from their biblical name, they won't tell you, God no love them, and it's just the truth, read, 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 read what I gave you, Joel. Two, uh, 2 and 27 and ye shall know that I I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else what? and none else what? and none else and my people shall never be ashamed so we shouldn't be ashamed to tell people that he's the God of us and not everybody else you don't love everybody that's why we ask you who your father is because it goes by the seed line so because your father is a Jamaica, so-called Jamaican, that makes him an Israelite, and it goes by the seed of your father. So even if your mother was from another nation, because your father is an Israelite, that make you an Israelite. Get me that numbers, um, one and eighteen. 
Yeah, read Amos, but I'll be, get the numbers 1 and 18 first. Numbers. Numbers. Chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Hold on. Why are you shaking your head, brother? Yeah. No. If your mother is... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Well, listen to this. This is what we're reading and prove to what I'm saying. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after the families, after their families, by the oaths of their fathers. By the house of their mothers. By, by the oaths of their fathers. By the house of their auntie. By, by the oaths of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. That's how you declare your pedigree, not by the mother. This is the Bible, brother. I wouldn't say if I if I never if I never know. You, you see, because our people don't read Bible, we read Bible, and because we're our, remember we just said, uh, my people shall never be ashamed. We shouldn't be ashamed to say the power is our power. That's right. And that you don't love everybody. Read back Joel two and twenty seven, and this hurts the other nations. Why you think them hate you? They hate you for no reason because they know the scripture. They know that the Lord no love them. You should read, read, um, you got it. Amos. Amos 3 verse 1. Hear these words that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel. O who? O children, children of, of Israel. Israel. Against the whole, fa whole family which I bought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. What? You only have I known. I know everybody. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your, all your iniquity. So, uh, uh, he will punish us for all our iniquity. That's why we're the only ones. We're on slave ships. You ask all the other nations, they never go on no slave ship. They might have been indentured servants where they, they let go, they serve a little time and they get let go. But nobody never been in captivity for four or five hundred years. Only the Israelites. So that's why he said, therefore I will punish you because you only have I known because he gave us law, statutes and commandments to keep and we broke them. So we get beaten. Read it. This is book of Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. He had not done so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They haven't known no judgment of going in slavery on unslave ships. Because he showed his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hasn't dealt so with any nation. This is in Psalms, man. That's right. Read back. Yeah. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. But before that, you see, he just read in Amos, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So I'm not care about the rest of people. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Read it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed Read that back again. Joel 2 and 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and what? and, and none God else and my people shall never be ashamed he is the Lord our God and none else That's so he's not the God of everybody he gives the other nation Buddha he gives them Shiva he give them um, Christianity because you know say we're not supposed to go to church and all them thing there. This is the church. Today is the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to buy, sell. We mustn't cook. We mustn't clean. If you even if you have your husband, you can't lay with him today. You have to lay with him after because today is the day that the Lord glorified. You have to glorify your heavenly Father. 
So that's why we get curses because we don't follow the commandments of the Heavenly Father. Today is a high holy day. People are not supposed to be up and down shopping, buying and selling. No, as brother or sister, as brother does tell you about the church, we are going to show you who was the church, right? This is Acts chapter 7 verse 37. This is Moses that which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall you hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. So who was in the church wilderness? Eh? The wilderness. Who was in the wilderness with Moses? The children of Israel. So those are the church. You are the church. You understand? Right. So we don't need to go into no building. Because the Lord, let me that he's not in the buildings made with hands. He said he's not in buildings made with hands. So we shouldn't be going into no buildings because the Lord never give us religion. He give us laws, statutes, and command. When Moses went up, up to the mountain and collect the thing, he never said, come follow this religion. He said, come follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. So he's not dealing with the religion. So all these different denominations is to keep us away from the Heavenly Father. So you as an Israelite, sis, we got work to do because for us to get above all the other nations and they know it the nation know it you see when they see all the other nations cover down and wear their long dress that's our custom that they teach we're supposed to our women is supposed to be covered down they're not we're not supposed to be deuteronomy 22 and verse 5 our women are supposed to be wearing dresses sis. it's only this this name this country and the other so-called nations tell you say you can be equal with the man when the lord never make it that way read there deuteronomy 22 verse 5 the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abomination unto the lord thy god see so wearing trousers is actually an abomination unto the lord thy god that's a detestable thing that you don't like. So we got dietary laws. We got laws on how to deal with each other. We got laws on how to whip our women supposed to dress. We got ceremonial laws. So all these things are in the scripture. Because this Bible ain't for everybody. This Bible is only for the children of Israel. So the other nations shouldn't even touch this book. It's not theirs. It don't speak. It speak about them, but it's only for when they're punishing us because the Lord send them against us. Get me that. Deuteronomy 28 and 47. This is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, God, Yahweh said, God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? So the other nations shouldn't be taking up this book and taking their covenant in their mouth. And talking about they got they saved because the Lord only coming for the Israelites. Get me Matthew 15 and 24. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. For the what? For, for the, the abundance of all things. things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. What? Which the white man just come and get us. Which, which the Lord, Lord shall send against thee. The Lord send them against us. Because he said we should serve our enemies. So the other nation. Remember. Read that slowly. The Lord said we shall what? Deuteronomy 28, 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger and in thirst. And in nakedness and in want of all things. Now it said in hunger. When we're hungry, we gotta go to their stores. Morrison, we don't own that. Tesco, we don't own that. So it says in hunger, we have to go to serve our enemies. It said in clothing, we pick all the cotton, but we don't own no textile con factory. We still have to go to Primark. We have to go to all the other shops to buy our clothes. Even water, God give it for free. It's a God given gift. But they buckle it up and sell us the buckle because the water is free. 
still have to pay a water bill. Vote is free. And so we're serving our enemy. He said in one of all things. If you want a debt certificate, we have forgotten them. Birth certificate, debt certificate, everything we have to go, go to them. Married, yo, everything. My glasses, everything we have to go. Education, we have to go to them. So we're serving them. Now, the Lord said we're supposed to be above them. They're supposed to serve we. Now, get me second Ezra 6 and 54. Right, this, I'm, this is in the scriptures. This is one of the books that they took out of the, the Bible because they took out 16 books out of the Bible. And they took out these book, 14 books out of the Bible. And they, they done that because of these type of scriptures in there. Read that. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Read out. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So he's saying, every person on planet earth come from Adam. That's right. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. And he chose the Israelites, so we, these chosen, come from Adam. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So everybody say. Thou madest the world for our sakes. So everything he meant for the Israelites' sake. Not for everybody. That's They're walking right. on our land. Yeah. Everything where you put your foot is yours. That's Read on. Verse 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam. All the other people that's not Israelites. They all come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. There's something man. Thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle. And as liken the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So you know what spittle is, sis? When you talk and little spit fly out your mouth. The Lord said they like that. But read on. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these events who has ever been reputed as nothing has begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So these people who the Lord said they're nothing is ruling over us now. This is why they must 